there is an interesting question I often ask my clients and it tends to stump them more often than not. And it never ceases to amaze me. And I think really when you hear it, it, it sort of speaks to this culture that we're all in pursuit of something. We are all actively searching to be a certain way and to achieve a certain level of this particular thing, but nobody actually knows what it means. And I see it time and time and again, I have tested it many, many times. So I know it's the truth, but a lot of my clients will say to me, Denise, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Why can't I be normal? Why can't I just be happy? Why can't I feel satisfied? What is wrong with me? And it's the same set of questions that come up time and time again. And what often stumps them is when I turn around and I say, okay, you want to be happy, but how will you know when you get there? And they, every time it's like, and they pause and they think, and I just wait. Because sometimes silence can be the greatest indicator of a particular situation or a particular response or a particular point of view. And I just wait and I wait. And often they come back and they'd be like, I don't even know. How do, I don't know, I just wanna feel normal. That's usually the follow-up question. And then the same thing goes back. How, How will you know when you're normal? What does normal mean? And again, silence, same response, same thing. And this really speaks to this like societal way of us all chasing for something. Like we're all chasing for happiness. There's even like the pursuit of happiness. It's a movie. It's like, it's all over the place. We're all chasing it. But then we don't actually know, nor we have we defined what that means to us and how we've even, how we even know when we've gotten there. Like, how will you know when you're happy? I have no idea when I'll know. It's like this assumption that you'll just know when you get there. But that's the thing about happiness is it's it's not cookie cutter. It's not one size fits all. Just what makes me happy isn't going to be what makes you happy or Mary happy or Sally happy. It's not going to be the same thing. It's not one size fits all. What needs to happen here is that there needs to be, and this is part of the work that we're doing together collaboratively when I work with my clients, is we start to define what happiness means to you as an individual and how you'll know you've gotten there, how you know you've achieved it. Because you can't compare what's going to make you happy with what's making somebody else happy. Just because your neighbor seems to be over the moon happy all the time and smiling and all this stuff, like it doesn't mean that what's making her feel that way is the same for you, nor does it mean that her outward appearance and how she actually presents herself to the world is what is going on behind closed doors. Because many people, I mean, I did this myself, kind of put on this show, put on an act, put on a mask that they are very, very, very happy in order to appease other people and to not let other individuals know around them what's really going on behind closed doors. Because there's also like this element of shame, like we're shamed for not feeling happy all the time. And this is often what I get from my clients too. Like I should be happy. I have all these things. Why am I not happy? I should be happy. So we start to shame ourselves for not having achieved this level of happiness when we haven't even defined for ourselves what that means even to begin with. So then we're shaming ourselves for something we haven't defined for ourselves in the pursuit of chasing something that isn't meant for us. Did you keep up with that? Because I was chasing around in circles, but it's important for you to understand that before you can achieve happiness, you have to know what it looks like for you. It can't be what it is like for other people. It just can't be because that's not, that's not who you are. The brilliant part about us as human beings is that there is not a single one of us that is that exactly the same. Even identical twins, identical twins are very, very different and unique individuals. What's going to make one happy isn't necessarily going to make the other person happy. So if we are all that unique, at a core level and there isn't a single other person that is like us in this whole entire planet how then can we expect to chase a level of happiness that is suitable for one person when we haven't stopped to consider if it's suitable for us and that's why like I just I've been thinking so much about what we chase and these standards we chase and then I think about wait we're all doing this each and every one of us but we haven't stopped to consider what it means or how we'll know when we get there. Cause that's the other piece of the puzzle. Like you have to know, like, how will I know for me when I have achieved happiness? Like what's going to be different about me? And so these are some of the questions that, that I ask a lot of my clients because they have to know they've gotten there. Otherwise they're going to be consistently chasing, 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 not actually knowing once they've arrived because they haven't, and they haven't set the arrival point. They haven't said, okay, this is what it looks like. This is how I'll know. And this is the, what's going to indicate to me that I'm here because again, we've been chasing this same thing for so long. It's become habit. 
We are habitually doing it. So if we don't know what the end goal is, if we don't know what that point is, especially as it relates to you and that is unique to you, it will be impossible to know once you've arrived and the chase will continue. It's like being a hamster on a wheel. The hamster keeps going, 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 but they're not really getting anywhere. They're just spinning their wheels. And so too is the same thing when you are in the pursuit of happiness. If you don't have the end point, it's going to be impossible to know you've gotten there. So my question to you is, and my challenging question to all of you is, what does happiness look like to you? Like, you know, and I want you to really consider this because I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're like, wait a minute, I don't even know. Happy is happy. What do you mean? But, but that's not necessarily the case. Like if, if you really, really sit back and think about it, it's a bit of an existential question, actually, to be honest, because you get to create that for yourself. And it's a good, it's a good exercise to show you that you can create for yourself. You can determine what that looks like for you. It's very empowering when you say, okay, I will know I have reached happiness at this point. I, this is what happiness means to me. Use this as a journal prompt. What does happiness mean to me? Write that at the top of the paper. And I'm shaking my camera everywhere because I'm excited and my desk is chair hitting desk, all these things, but uh, use that as an activity. And I would love to know what it means to you. I would love to hear more about how you're defining it for yourself and how you'll know when you get there. So with that being said, I hope you are happy. I hope you're happy, healthy. Oh my God. <laughs> happy, healthy, and abundant. And of course, make it a great day. Make it a great day, make it a great day. This is me running after an unknown. It's me in the pursuit of unknown happiness. I'll get there eventually, don't worry. <laughs> okay, let's get to it.